Greetings, PHR. This is BigRig42. Uh, there's been a lot of talk in the unit lately about um, some of us need to work on our aim, uh, complaints about enemies coring us out really well and everyone just shooting our CT. Well, I came up with a little drill to help us get better with that. And I, I do this myself in my free time sometimes. Um, basically, what I do to practice getting good is I'll get my thunderbolt here, and I'll torso twist away, and I'll torso twist back, and just CT every time. And you just, you do this slowly, be real relaxed about it. If this is too fast, you can just go slower, it's okay. You can do it this flow, just starting out. Oop, I messed up there, see? The reason why I do it on the paper doll is because if any of the laser beam goes anywhere besides the CT, you done goofed. And if you just do this, and if you do it really slowly, eventually, you'll just naturally start doing it faster without noticing it. And this is how you get good. You see? So if you can't do this in the testing grounds against an immobile mech, then you certainly cannot do it in the heat of battle. And you need to be able to do this in the heat of battle, whilst your mech is moving, and whilst your enemy mech is moving. It's a lot to ask for, I know. Um, also, if you get bored of doing this, you can also throw in moving. At the same time, you circle the enemy, bam, move in, come back, like so. Yeah, you're not, it's not possible to hit the same place every time doing this because you're circling the mech, but you can try just for center mass every time. Now this is easy, it's relaxing. You might be tempted to do it super fast, but just it's important to keep everything clean, do it slow, be deliberate, and focus on only hitting the CT when you're all stationary with things. That's how you get better. You start slow and simple and you work your way up in speed. Uh, a little note on arm lock. I typically play with the arm lock off because I play a lot of mechs uh, other than the Thunderbolt that have all the weapons in the arms. Uh, if you have weapons in the torso and the arms, or just the torso, I would recommend actually turning the arm lock on. Because then all the weapons go to the same place. You turn it off and you get one, one of those deals. And if you want to shoot all the weapons, you can often like end up with one of those things. and That's, that's no good. But one problem I find with arm lock, and this depends on your settings, is listen to my mouse and how much movement I have to do. That is a lot of movement. Swoosh. Swoosh. Now turning the arm lock off. That's way less movement I'm doing with my mouse. It's just swoosh. Swoosh. I don't have to move as far. And it, it feels faster to me. I, I It isn't faster. It's just it feels faster. To me, at least. Uh, I also don't run out of room on my mouse pad. With the arm lock on, I, I really reach the end of my mouse pad. Like my mouse is halfway off my mouse pad right now, and now it's off my mouse pad, and I'm not even fully torso twisted yet. It, I end up having to pick up the mouse and put it down, and it, it, yeah. So that's why I personally don't like the arm lock too much, unless I'm playing with my joysticks, because it, it's it's much better with joysticks with arm lock. That's that's cool. But anyway. That's just my little drill. Uh, I hope some of you give it a try. It helped me out a lot. And um, I will see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.